introduce yourself. Shalom. I'm Sholan Lang. I'm from Birmingham in the United Kingdom. So um, my parents are from the Caribbean and um, I'm a domestic abuse practitioner. I'm, I'm asking God to forgive me of many sins. Um, first of all, um, for negation from a young age, um, which a, a situation when I was young um, in my teens, um, I was um, filmed during a sexual act and I feel that spirits attached to shame and rejection. Um, and um, this has then led to um, promiscuity, um, masturbation, um, pornography, um, also um, wanting to be sexually desired, um, um, idolatry of, of men, even um, in my in, in my relationship that I've been in in the last um, eleven years, um, spirits of, of of fear of not being loved, so trying to change um, things about myself to please a man and things like that. Um, um, also lust, um, perversion, thoughts, lies. Um, a few years ago, a woman approached me at work. I was supporting her daughter and she started telling me how she um, thinks about my past and present and was saying she was a spiritual guide. She, she started to tell me that I was under attack from the enemy, that my um, partner was um, cheating on me and things like that um, and and um, gave me a few things she gave me a candle and told me that I needed to burn this in my house um, and she also gave me these two little potions that she told me to put behind my door and um, around the wheel of my car to ward off the enemy I was very skeptical because I've always been a child of God and think of them things but she was very convincing that she was um she was sent by God and started telling me all these things I was um to see very and I did the the two things that she she told me to do since that in 2020 and 2021 in December I had a car crash in my vehicle um my house doesn't feel the same um, this heaviness, this, I've had depression, um, suicidal thoughts. I asked, she told me to ask what I wanted when I burned the candle and I was going through hardship at the time financially. So I asked for um, money. So I, um, a sin of money worship. I have um, outbursts of anger towards my children. Um, I have extreme bitterness and resentment and trauma also because my relationship has been abusive. Um, there's also um, lots of confusion whether I stay in my relationship, whether, whether God wants me to be to keep my family together or due to the past trauma and things that have happened in my relationship whether um god wants me um to go carry on alone and uh, and also he's an unbeliever i've realized that throughout my um childhood even going away to university spiritually i was um constantly praying for the last since I've been in this relationship, I realised a few years ago that I didn't have a, a connection to God anymore. I'd stopped praying. Um, I, um, my children, there's also anger there with them. Um, they, um, no obedience. I feel that I'm affectionless to them. Um, and... Um, that they've experienced a lot of trauma as well through, through seeing things that have taken place within the relationship. They're also both underachieving at school. So, um, yeah. 
what is your decision now and what do you believe God Almighty will do for you? How do you promise to live your life so you can receive and maintain God's blessings and salvation? So I've I've been in repentance since this year. Um, I um, ask God to renew me and cleanse my heart and make me a new person. I've stopped. I was addicted to drugs for 20 years since I did that repentance. I've stopped that. I've stopped fornication. I've stopped the masturbation. For me, it's I feel that um, for a new heart, the renewal to to continue um, with my walk with Christ and um, be connected and um, back to God and to, um, you know, even through my testimony, be able to um, save save um, souls for the kingdom of God and carry on walking with him. All right. Do you believe that today will mark an end to your problems? Yes. All right. You've listened to her. We are not created to promote objects of worship more than God. All those items she mentioned are not evil. But if there are thoughts in your heart that exalt the objects above God, those thoughts in your heart that exalt man-made objects or any object above God, are evil. We are created to worship God alone. If you are looking for the true light, look for Jesus Christ, for he is the glorious light of the world that dispels all shades of darkness. If you are looking for oil, look for the anointing of God, which is the Holy Spirit in your life. The Godly character in you is the divine oil that keeps the light of God's anointing in you burning. If you burn candle without burning or exhibiting godly character, it will become vanity upon vanity. If you pour all the oil or fragments you have ever seen or known, on your head or any part of your body without genuine repentance. The spirit of God cannot rest upon you. The anointing is not the oil, but the spirit of God in your life. Anointing is the coming of the Holy Spirit into the life of God's children. Did you hear that? Anointing is the coming of the Holy Spirit into the lives of the children of God. If you bring in candle, bring in oil, bring in this and that object into your heart, into your body, into your homes or your room, but fail to allow the Holy Spirit to come into your life, you will be used to work for Satan and not for God. It is the Spirit of God in you that works for God. No one can work for God without the Holy Spirit. No one can even receive anything from God without the Spirit of God. If you are the type that love promoting objects, promoting this, promoting that, all this on your head and that on your body, without genuine repentance, you are a spiritual hypocrite. The Holy Spirit is our spiritual intercessor our helper from above, the divine advocate, the greatest teacher you can ever find, the one who opens the understanding of people to know the things of God. The Holy Spirit himself reveals Jesus Christ to true believers. Without the Holy Spirit, you cannot know Jesus. Jesus Christ said to Peter, you have just said that I am the Christ, the Son of the living God. 
I tell you, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but the Spirit of God. It was not any human being that revealed Jesus Christ to Peter. It was not Peter's colleagues or prophecies from people that revealed Jesus Christ to Peter. It was the Spirit of God. Jesus Christ identified that spirit in Peter and said, flesh and blood did not reveal these things to you, but the spirit of the living God upon you, upon this very rock, I will build the church. The church supposed to be built by the spirit of God, built on the rock of ages, Jesus Christ himself. The rock of ages, Jesus Christ himself, is always present in a place in the power of the Holy Spirit. Now, check yourself. Who has revealed Jesus Christ to you? Your friends, siblings, neighbors, all those who claim that they are too spiritual. You need to have one-on-one -on -one encounter with Jesus Christ. Saul, who later became Apostle Paul, had one on one encounter with Jesus Christ himself. It was the Holy Spirit who revealed Jesus Christ to Apostle Paul while he was on his way to Damascus. Let us also pay attention to the things of God by surrendering to the known will of the Spirit of God. We are going to pray for her now, and she will be completely set free for the glory of God. And she will begin to have divine encounter, not depending on anyone, any strange voice or voices, any objects or objects on the outside, but on God, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit. Don't say this woman is the one that will be prayed for. No, as she is being prayed for, you two are on cue. The prayers will touch you and disconnect you from anything Satan has used to connect your life to his evil kingdoms. Are you willing to be prayed for? If the answer is yes, Connect your spirit to the grace of God in this place. And call the name Jesus Christ. Now we want you to open up your spirit. Open up your heart. The Bible says those who call on the name Jesus Christ will be saved. Now call on the name Jesus Christ and get ready for your eternal salvation. Do that quickly. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. Again. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I send the light of God's deliverance to your own spirit. And I command the ambassadors of the kingdom of darkness to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, send the name of Jesus Christ. You have been hiding in her for so long. Your end has come. I send more fire to all of you in the modern world. Holy Ghost, send the name of Jesus Christ. Sir! You wicked serpent, spiritual husband, queen of the coast, Lucifer, snake, say the name of Jesus Christ. Who was his queen, the witches and wizards, the old lady that is hiding in her from the modern world. I send fire to all of you witches and wizards, idols, marine agents, spirit of addiction, masturbation, fornication, Lucifer, 
You are hiding. Tip, 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 tip. Right now, I send fire to darkness and all kings and queens of darkness. All of you that are hiding, Holy Ghost, tell the name of Jesus Christ. Tell your heart. Your evil crowns and rings. Tell, 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 tell. Was the fire that cannot be resisted is tracing them one by one. The hair, the face, the eyes, the tongue, the tongue, the voice, the tongue. Tear the tongue, the tongue, tear the back, tear, tear. What have you done to her marriage, her health, and her career? Stolen everything. How? What are the things you have stolen? Mention them one by one and how you stole everything. Speak quickly. Hello. Uh huh. She hates them. She's bitter, angry. Who are you that hid in her lives to steal everything? What are your evil names? Mention your names quickly. Lucifer. Say more. Jezebel. Who else? Lucifer Jezebel. Who else? Speak weakly. Satan. How do you, Satan, operate? Go ahead and expose all your evil works in the world and also in her life. Masturbation. Sexual attacks. Pornography, giving herself to men. She gives herself to men. Who used to push her to be sexually attracted to men and cause her to commit masturbation, sexual immorality, fornication, and the like. She wants to be liked, to be loved. Fear of rejection. Feeling no, no, no worth, no worth herself. Not knowing who she is. Who caused her to be having this kind of inordinate affection? With her. What about you, Satan? Say all your evil works. Were you not the one who pushed her to be having affection for men and committing all evil? Activities with them, same four activities. Felt, seen felt relationships, seen, seen her father just use women, relationship after relationship. What have you done to her marriage, her career, and members of her family? I made her get angry and feel that she's, she can't do a job, feel confusion. She, she gets to job offers, but she gets a good job offer, but 
she's uh, she's too scared she feels that she she's not worthy that she's unable to 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 do the job how many but, people have you said and possessed and destroyed their lives in this manner all around the world many how do you go about possessing people and destroying them in this manner you say that million many say more from going out partying drinking drugs music what type of music do you use you satan to possess people in the world music that promotes sexual immorality sleeping around dance all reggae music say more and say all oh, you cannot hide anything speak with it hip-hop killing taking drugs, worshiping the devil. How do people worship the devil? What are those things they do that enable them to worship the devil? Say them, say everything. False idols, having false idols and turning to new age things, horoscopes, palm reading. Say all, expose all your evil secrets, Remember you are captured and you will not be spared. You will undergo total spiritual destruction today. Speak quickly, you Satan. Expose your works. Going to spiritual guides and doing juju and just wanting fame and just, uh, just anything which is which is of darkness. There are a lot of wars going on in the world. Manipulations in various activities, political sectors and the like. What do you, Satan, know about things like this? Expose all. Speak quickly. Uh, the, the agendas. What agendas? There's so many agendas. Expose all of them one by one. Speak quickly. I take, I take God out of schools, so children don't know, don't know about Christ. Jesus Christ, expose all your evil agendas one by one. Speak quickly. Homosexuality. Say you can and expose all. Not some. He can be. He can be anyone now. He can be a he, a she, a they. He can be a bird if you want to. And people have to accept that. People have to. People have to use you by, by, by what you say you are, not what, not, not what who you was made as. Who is the cause of all these things and the so-called your agenda from the beat of hell? Who is the cause? Who invented them? Speak quickly. Say the name of Jesus Christ. Answer me quickly. The satanic kingdom. Lucifer. Satan. Now expose what you have not exposed. The rest of your evil agendas, you Satan, Lucifer, and Snake, speak quickly. Jesus Christ, expose all of them quickly. People, making people feel that they can't be forgiven, that this, that they're not worthy of forgiveness, that they that they the past forgiveness, leading them back to the dark, to darkness, even, even when they try to turn to the light. Say all. 
I send fire to Satan, Lucifer, wicked Jezebel, queens and kings of darkness in various kingdoms of darkness, in various continents, evil spirits in charge of modern day slavery, evil laws and agendas that are destroying humanity. Holy Ghost, send the devil. Jesus Christ, now speak quickly. Expose all of them. Take them to the children, the minds of the children. Oh, we get them. Now. Through social media, through the not having, them not having God in their household, not having parents that uh, uh, we. I believe this of God that they the doubting God through 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 through, this, through media the things that they see things that they hear the programs that they watch. Jesus Christ, say more and expose all. Go ahead. School, schools. How do you operate through what you said now? Expose your evil works quickly. We get lost past, lost past to be teachings and lessons and teachings into schools. What teach do you them mean about? By that? Explain. What do you mean by that? Say that again and explain. We teach them about. Man and man, woman and woman, we confuse them. Say more and say all. What else do you do in the world? What have you been doing in the world? Politics of nations. There are wars everywhere, political violence, manipulations of results everywhere. What do you have to say? We just corrupt, corrupt the minds of the leader, control How? them. How? What do you use to corrupt their minds, control them, and push them to manipulate electoral results, rig elections, and put nations in chaos? They're having, they're having evil intentions in their heart. They were having money, fame, power. How many nations in the world have you possessed in this manner, influenced the system of governance, and destroyed their resources and everybody? How many? Many. <coughs> How else do you manipulate and operate in the world? And possess people. How? How else? Lies. Give details. Coming through lies. Telling li more lies. To cover the lies. Will such a liar enter into the kingdom of God on the last day? Yes or no? No. Satan has spoken. What about you, Lucifer? And you, Jezebel? Explain your various duties one by one. Speak quickly. To steal, to steal and destroy. Who is speaking now? Lucifer. Go ahead and explain and expose all your evil activities that are working against humanity. I yeah. set fire to the darkness and to the air and to all your hiding places. And I command you, Lucifer, to be consumed by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Turn the name of Jesus Christ. As you are undergoing total spiritual destruction, now speak and expose your evil works. Speak, you Lucifer. Destroy, destroy the spirits, destroy the soul. What have you been using to kill, steal, and destroy as you claimed? 
you Lucifer? What have you been using to carry out your evil works? Anger, rage, resentment, bitterness. There are various sicknesses and diseases in the world. Omicron, COVID-19, monkeypox, tuberculosis, HIV, AIDS, diabetes, hypertension, madness, depression, ulcer, cancer, kidney disease, heart disease, liver problems, various sicknesses and diseases, that are killing people in the world. What do you, Lucifer, know about them? Speak quickly. We use, we use them to cause fear. You use them to cause fear to who? Who do you cause fear to? The world. Then we take that fear. We use that fear. Does it mean that it is actually the fear that you caused in people's hearts? that finally kills faster than the sicknesses and diseases. Yes or no, evil spirits? Yes. Who can cure people and set them completely free from all the sicknesses and diseases that you evil spirits have invented and caused to people in the world? Jesus. Who hardened people's hearts not to believe that Jesus Christ can cure all manners of sicknesses and diseases, both curable and incurable ones in the world today. We do. Who are you? Mention your evil names. Say Lucifer. Say all. Say your names. Satan, Lucifer. Who else? Yes! Ahab. Say that clearly. That. I send fire to the tongue and to the voice. Now open them and speak quickly. Say the name of Jesus Christ. Say that clearly. Darkness. You, Jezebel, Lucifer has just spoken now. What are your evil activities? Take my mind. To where? Depression. The Bible talks about one wicked Jezebel. Are you the same Jezebel of old? If yes, explain. Yeah. Respond clearly. Are you the same Jezebel the Bible talked about that also destroyed many ministers of God, invented idol worship and the like? Yes or no? Yeah. How old are you now in the realm of the spirit? Hundreds, hundreds of years. Speak louder. Hundreds of years. How many hundreds of years? Hundred, hundred, twenty-six. 136. The Jezebel in the Bible is much more older than the year you have mentioned. Why did you say that you are the same Jezebel in the Bible? What is your link? Speak quickly. The ancient <laughs> Jezebel in the Bible is older than this number of years you have mentioned. What do you have to say? <sighs> I send fire to you, wicked Jezebel, and all your evil incarnates, and I command you to be under total spiritual destruction by the fire of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Ghost, send the name of Jesus Christ. Now say your exact years. How old are you, wicked Jezebel? 176.
Apart from causing people depression, what other lives of sin do you push people to live? The old Jezebel in the Bible promoted idolatry, witchcraft activities and the like, witch hunt, murder, hatred, unforgiving spirit, greed, and the like. What are your evil activities in this generation, you wicked Jezebel? Lost. Making, sending women to, to tempt men of God to desire how, them. How do you send women to tempt ministers of God? How? Expose our past. In the church. What do they use to tempt the ministers of God? How they dress, the clothing, Lord, Lord Cleveland. Explain everything, don't hide anything. Explain that part clearly. Clothes are revealing. Anytime you send your evil women to put on clothes that are revealing and allow them to sit in the church. What lies of sin do they end up promoting? How do they tempt the ministers of God? Speak quickly, you wicked Jezebel, the mother of prostitution and seduction. To sleep with them. Say that clearly. What type of sin do they commit with those ministers of God? Mention them. Fornication. Lust. Desires. Anytime they succeeded in doing that and um, promoting lives of sin, what used to happen to the ministers of God, their ministries, their callings, and the anointing of God in their lives? The fail people in the people in the church. Would, not be saved. Say more and expose your evil works in churches. Evil over over cinnamons and the leaders within the church. What kind of sins you have mentioned fornication? Adultery. What other sins do you commonly spread in such a ministry? Greed, lies, gossip. Say more. Don't hide anything, for you are already captured and will be completely destroyed today, together with your evil works. Go ahead and say more. Expose all your evil activities in ministries. Fornication. Unbelief. Tell the devil, Jesus Christ, say more and expose all of them. You have talked about fornication, adultery, greed, gossip, lies, unbelief. Say more, expose everything the way they are. Deceit, false teachings, deceit. How many ministries and ministers have you captured in this manner and completely destroyed in the world, you wicked Jezebel? Many. What is your mission? Today, this lady connected and she is undergoing deliverance now. What is your plan? She has come to the city of Jesus International Ministry. What is your plan? Have you ever planned against the city of Jesus International Ministry and against the man of God, Christopher Oji? Speak, you wicked Jezebel. 
No. Why? No. Power. What power? Power that, that God has given you. To you. What does the power do to you, wicked Jezebel, do to Lucifer, do to Satan and all the powers of darkness in your evil kingdoms? We have to flee. Where can you hide from the power of God? Where can you flee to from the spirit of God? Do you think you can ever flee? Check properly and respond quickly. No. What have you not said? What are other things you have not mentioned? What have you done to her career and her health? The health of this lady. Taken, taken a womb for many, many years. She's not been able to have any more children. How did you Again. take her womb? How did you take the womb of this lady? How? No evil spirit. How? She gets pregnant and goes. She she goes to the hospital. They have to do scans and tests. She has a womb, but there's no baby inside of the womb. It's because we've taken, we took, we took. Holy Ghost, thank the name of Jesus Christ. Answer me quickly. What did you use to take the womb of this lady? And where did you take her womb to? Speak. Masturbation. We took to her kingdom. Many people are masturbating. They see it as fun. Some have started at a young age. Some are doing it anyhow. Some are proud of that. And some believe it's normal. Are you saying here, you evil spirit, that you blind people's mind not to know that through masturbation and lies of sin, you have taken everything that make everything that makes meaning in their lives to the kingdom of darkness? Yes or no? Yes. How many women have you taken their wombs in this manner? And how many men have you taken their sperms to your evil kingdoms in this manner? Many. If you are finally destroyed now, together with your evil works. What will happen to the people that you have taken their wombs, taking their sperms to your evil kingdoms? Life. What will happen to them, their womb, and the blessings of their marriage, or marriages? Growth. Will they be fruitful again? Yes or no? Yes. Who will restore what you have taken from them? God. 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 Star. Are you aware that your end has come, you evil spirits, Satan, Lucifer, the wicked Jezebel? Speak. Yes. Why did you lie here that you are 100? and above years, where you know very well that you wicked Jezebel is more than this 100 years you have mentioned. Why did you lie? You know, you know, I've been here for many years, hundreds. How did you tempt Elijah? And what do you use to tempt him during his time? You Jezebel. He learned to fled and hid himself in the wilderness. Woman. But you did not succeed. He was able to preserve his life. 
and finally destroyed you and your evil plans. True or false? Yeah. Meaning true. Right now, I command the unquenchable fire from God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, to descend upon you powers of darkness and all your evil kingdoms. I can see that happening. Holy Ghost, take the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire to you, Asian dragon, evil serpents that are hiding in her, wicked ways of darkness, ancestral spirits, witches and wizards, all marine agents and kingdoms. I send fire to all your headquarters. I send fire to Bermuda Triangle. Indian Ocean, Atlantic Ocean, Blue Sea, the North, South, East, and West, the visible and the invisible. And I send fire to darkness. You darkness, I command you and your evil works in the world to be completely destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. I can see that happening. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Spirit of madness, suicide, low self-esteem. Spirit in charge of guilt and condemnation. Sense of unworthiness to pray, to study the Bible, to preach, to teach and to do the known will of God. I command you evil forces to be captured and destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. I send fire to the ancient spirit of seduction, sexual immorality, masturbation, lust, all evil spirits in charge of evil agendas that are incorporated in the governance systems of various nations just to promote sins and sinful desires. I command all of you to be completely destroyed and nullified by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Every spirit of confusion in various nations, terrorism, racism, every spirit of modern day slavery, captivities of all kinds, runs and authorities, I command you to be destroyed by the fire of the Holy Spirit. Holy Ghost, turn the name of Jesus Christ. Let all souls be completely set free. Holy Ghost, tear, tear, tear her heart, her heart, and her mind. Tear. I command her mind to be retrieved from the kingdom of darkness and take him back to her. I command the soul, spirit, and body of everyone, every nation, every person that is possessed by such powers of darkness to receive deliverance. Receive in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I command her and everyone in the world to receive a pure heart from God, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit that will not allow sins and sinful desires to be promoted anymore, both now and forevermore. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free! In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen, and amen.
goes back <laughs> in our senses now. And you are also back to your senses to do the will of God. Shalom. Shalom. Kindly introduce yourself again and then tell us what happened to you during the prayers. Um, my name is Sherlyn Lang. I'm from Birmingham in the United Kingdom. I just what is your thank country you. of origin or nationality? In the Caribbean. All right. Go ahead and explain to the world what you experienced, what happened to you during the prayers. I just felt like almost a force was just pulling on my limbs and my head and my neck, like, like, like a convulsion almost that like I, I, I couldn't just contain. I couldn't like, I, I, it's, I, I, yeah. And, and now I just feel this light and free and like my mind is just empty, just free this, yeah, my heart, yeah. Were you aware that you were possessed by Satan, Lucifer, and Jezebel? No, no. What are your spiritual lives and experiences like? Have you ever had an encounter with Satan, Lucifer, or Jezebel in your dreams? When I was younger, I, I, I'm talking from a child, I used to have dreams that um, Satan was chasing after me. Um, I have I have dreams, I, I, I would have then have dreams in my adulthood of being chased, dogs chasing after me, having to hide in high grass, um, not to be found by the dogs, um, attacks, um, sexually attacks where really perverse um, sexual attacks. Um, yeah, yeah, bad, yeah. Did you ever know that all those experiences you had in your dream world were prepared by Satan, Lucifer, and the wicked Jezebel? Not until recent, when I've um, when I've watched certain things where it's 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 highlighted that that it could possibly mean that that dream those kind of dreams are sexual, you know, sexual attacks and things like that. Dreams could be a demonic attacks. All right. Have you ever been delivered in this manner before? No. You have been watching Kojim, the City of Jesus International Ministry, online prayers, and you've been seeing people that are connected to Zoom meeting for prayers being completely delivered without them coming physically to the City of Jesus International Ministry to be prayed for. What used to go through your mind? And having experienced that yourself and being delivered from these high-ranked powers of darkness, what is going through your mind now? I would think that it some of it, it was maybe exaggeration that the Holy Ghost fire, they really do whether they really even feel the fire descend on them. But after today. I, I I felt the burning. That's it. I want. I, I just felt the the burning, and I just know that that the you know that those people were delivered. I I've been delivered today, and it's been through a screen. Are you saying that in the past you used to see everything as fake, not really real or true? 
But after your deliverance today, you are standing boldly from your practical experience to say that this kind of prayer section, kind of deliverance, kind of online service that is happening in the city of Jesus International Ministry is absolutely authentic and real. Um, yes, I used to be sceptical that others, other, without being physically touched, if it was really working. Just a little sceptical, but I know the power of God, so I knew that it, it, could, it could be possible that, that those people were delivered even through online and not having to be, not having to be touched in the physical. Were you aware that those evil spirits that hid themselves in you, Satan, Lucifer, and the wicked Jezebel, were the one that promoted the doubts in your heart, the unbelief in your heart, not even to believe that what is happening is real? Yes, I know now. All right. Christianity is not only theoretical, but also practical. What message do you have for doubting Thomases out there, unbelieving souls, and souls that are under the bondage of Satan, souls that are manipulated by the spirit of doubt and unbelief? Having come out of this kind of evil cage, what message do you have for them that will set them free and bring them to a place of genuine salvation like this? I would say that um, don't let your past sins um make you make you believe or feel unworthy that you are not um able to be saved that god god doesn't love you that god um won't deliver you and bless you with deliverance and and yeah and to seek um the city Jesus International Ministry, you know, and get the deliverance that they need. Did you pay any money to be registered and to be prayed for? No. Did you fake your deliverance and manifestation as many believe? No. How do you want to maintain your salvation? What life do you want to start living now that will enable you to maintain your deliverance? and salvation to um continue um reading um you know the word of god each day to continue with prayer um you know i pray all the time for um god to lead me um to um a baptism to a, a you know a church a, a a church that he is that he is within that house to be baptized under the right house. I pray for that. Um, and to um, you know, just um be continue to to walk with Christ, be set apart, and um to continue from turning from that then willful um desires of of the flesh and to and to sin and to just continue as um you know, God knows, God knows my heart and he knows the, the changes that I've already done since what coming back to, um, you know, um, having a relationship and, a, and being connected back with God and just to, to, to enjoy that and to, and to keep up with that. So you are promising to turn your life to God by living a life that is completely free from sins and sinful desires. Is that what you are saying? Yes. Wonderful. Wonderful. There are so many that are controlled by fleshly tendencies. Many are still masturbating. Many are moving from one relationship to another. And through that process, they are committing sexual immorality and the like. Many go to Churches only to seduce many stars of God and have sexual intercourse with them and drain the anointing of God in their lives. Many are given assignments by Satan, Lucifer, Jezebel, and other powers of darkness just to look for genuine ministries and ministers and get everything destroyed. 
they don't mind the consequences. They go about carrying out this evil or satanic mission. You were once one of them. God has rescued you, forgiven you, delivered you, and will use you also to reach out to other people. What message do you have for people that are still having this evil covenant with Satan to destroy ministries of God? To repent and repent from the heart, cry out to, to God for that forgiveness and turn from what they was doing. Don't just ask for forgiveness and, and go back right into living the same, doing exactly what you was doing. But it's just about, about true repentance and God will, will forgive you. Will, that, that transformation will, will then take place and Christ will then um, begin to dwell inside um, the Holy Spirit. What message do you have for leaders and those people that are in a position of leadership, leading nations, leading various organizations in the world? What message do you have for lawmakers that are making laws that will be governed in their face of countries? What message do you have for them? And whose influence do you warn them or advise them to be under? Um, to be under God. To, yeah, just be under God. Are you also saying they should be under the influence of the Holy Spirit to make laws that will promote holiness, morality, righteousness? Yeah. Sincerity, yeah. pure love of God, and the rest of the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Wonderful. Finally, who has set you free today, restored peace to your heart and mind, and given you eternal salvation? Jesus. What do you have to say about Jesus Christ who lives in the city of Jesus International Ministry and in my life, Christopher Oji? I just want to say thank you, man of God. Thank you for, for, for today. Thank you. In other words, you are returning all glory and thanks to God, Jesus Christ uh -huh. and the Holy Spirit, uh -huh. who has delivered you. Yes. Yeah. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. All right. God. We are here to encourage you to make God's word the foundation of your life by living a life that is completely free from sins and sinful desires. And we are seeing you coming back to share testimonies that will cause everyone in the world to be saved and redeemed in Jesus Christ's name. Shalom. Shalom.